Next reaction tonight to the million and a half dollar jury award to an LA County prosecutor who sued the county over workplace retaliation. Sean Randolph said she was denied important jobs in response to her complaints about the district attorney, George Gascon, and his directives. Gina Selva is live in downtown LA with her story. Gina. Marla, Alex, we are going to be hearing a lot about these lawsuits. This is the very first one, and there are many more to come. Prosecutor Sean Randolph has a good reason to smile. An L.A. jury has awarded her $1.5 million in a retaliation lawsuit against her boss, L.A. County D.A. George Gascon. Sean Randolph was questioning the policies, the legality of the policies, the ethics of these policies, and she was punished just for questioning those, uh, the, you know, asking and raising those questions. Eric Sedell is the vice president of the Association of Deputy District Attorneys. He says L.A. County is facing numerous similar lawsuits involving D.A. Gascon. We're talking about one lawsuit worth $1.5 million. And there are how many more? There's about 16 more lawsuits. And I'll say this, this one compared to levels of egregiousness is just the tip of the iceberg. We have a, a chain of them that are going to be moving through with respect to Mr. Gaston's office. Quite a few of them. Greg Smith is Sean's attorney. He says his client complained about George Gascon's directives, specifically about his policy that prohibited any minor from being tried as an adult. Sean also felt Gascon's policies violated the law. Once Mr. Gascon learned that Sean Randolph was complaining about his directives having unlawful aspects to it or unlawful parts to the directive, uh, and that her complaints were so frequent, they made the decision to move her. They kind of stuck her out in Nome, Alaska, so to speak. Sean had been handling the case of Sierra Brown and a unique Suvenet Atkins. The sisters were shot multiple times and their apartment set on fire. This man, Sierra's boyfriend, was arrested. Donato Cruikshank, who was a month shy of his 18th birthday at the time of the crime. The victim's family members were furious with D.A. Gascon for not trying Cruikshank as an adult. You're tearing L.A. apart by your, by your policies. Your policies are garbage. So I'm just not going to allow him to bully me. And so we ended up filing a lawsuit. Deputy D.A. Jonathan Hatami is one of 17 prosecutors who have filed a lawsuit. Hatami says these are his reasons. George Gascon has removed cases from me. George Gascon, uh, through a spokesperson, has called me unfit and delusional. George Gascon has intimated that anybody who disagrees with him are internal terrorists. And I, and I take that as a very racial statement, and it's definitely an inappropriate and hostile statement. For Mr. Gascon to completely ignore the 830 prosecutors in his office and simply listen to his political loyalists or people who follow his ideology is the fundamental problem here. And it's the reason why we're seeing these lawsuits. And these are lawsuits that will end up costing taxpayers a lot of money. No word yet from George Gascon. We contacted his office at 9 in the morning, again at noon and late this afternoon. But no one got back to us to give us a reaction to this story. I'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Yeah, and we asked him for reaction to our next story, too. And nobody got back to us on that. Gina, thank you for that. And that